Valentine's Day is coming up soon, and what better way to celebrate than with some good music? And my guest, George Cole, will be performing his trio in San Francisco, and he stopped by to give us a little preview. Thanks for coming on the show. Well, thanks for having me. As I said to my parents when I was born, thanks for having me. Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> and I'm really excited you have the guitar in your hand because that means you can play for us. I think um, I might, yep. But first, let's talk about this show on okay. February 14th and 15th. Um, Hotel Nico, Feinstein's at the Nico. Michael Feinstein has a club in San Francisco. It's a top night club. It's, it's relatively new and it's going to be a, a terrific show. Very romantic way to spend Valentine's and the day after. So February 14th and 15th. Okay, and a lot of people are expected to go out? I think so. I think so. It might be can standing room only. you get tickets ahead of time? Yes, you can get them online. Okay. Um, so let's talk a little bit about your life. I mean, you've been in music for a very long time. For a little while. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and you also have a recording out? Yes, we have a new record out. It's called Cole Swings Cole. It's an homage to the great Nat King Cole and the um, Nat King Cole songbook. So jazz is your forte? Yes, yeah, swing, the, the swing side of jazz, definitely. Uh, and you are a Bay Area native. I was born at what they now call Zuckerberg General. Okay. But it was SF General. I grew up in the East Bay, and so I consider myself a native. And most everyone you meet is not from here now. It's, um, it's a new climate here in our little town, which is not so little anymore. Right, but you are from here. I think so, yeah. But you've traveled around a lot. Yes, I've been around the world with, with this thing. It's a, my passport. What got you into guitar? Oh, this is going to sound awful, and I'm going to ruin my credibility, but I, there was a television show called The Lawrence Welk Show, and um, I, I really liked the accordionist Myron Florin. He was my hero, and I, I think I liked one of the Lennon sisters, too. And so I, I like that, and, you know, just um, when I was growing up, you know, 70s and 80s and stuff, the rock and roll explosion. Yeah, it's a, you it's a great thing. You want to be part of that? You want to be a rock and roller? You know, I, I am a rock and roller, but I, I wound up playing uh, my parents' music. And now, now I'm out of the closet. I love my parents' music. The, the greatest generation, we salute you. You know, that sort of thing. <laughs> that is wonderful. Okay, so you're talking music. You have the guitar in hand. Can we hear some? Sure. Okay. You want to sing along? I can't sing. L is for the way me. O is for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. E is even more than anyone that you'd adore. And love is all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game for two. Two in love can make it take my heart, but please don't break it. Love was meant for me. Love was meant for you. Love was meant for me and you. song for Valentine's Day. And too. you're a captive audience, so. Oh, well, I was dancing <laughs> along. How could you not to that music? This is awesome. So not only do you enjoy um, playing for audiences, but you've also done some training of celebrities. I, it turned out that way, yeah. Yes, I did. I and who have. and how did that come about? Well, um, a lot of people know me on, on Twitter and social media as the uh, music teacher for a, a band called Green Day. I taught the we all Billy know that band. You know, yeah, they're, they're great rock and roll Hall of Fame, Bay Area, Bay Area natives also. So I taught Billy Joe for you know maybe ten years, and I, I don't take credit for their success in any way. I just when I see them on TV or something, I just about to pop the buttons off my suit. I'm so so proud of them, and I think, I think it's great. Yeah, do you ever stay in touch with any Yeah, of, of the... course, yeah, we've been friends for a long time, so it's um, it's really great to see their development, and and to, I, I went to the Oakland Coliseum, and it was like, wow, my music student is, is now Elvis. You know, it's, it's great, it's great, the big video screens and stuff. Yeah, you'd you'd and look good on the big video screen, it's just like, whoa, they're pretty huge these days. Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for treating us with the music. And, welcome. And remember, the George Cole Trio will be performing February 14th and 15th at Feinstein's at the Nico, and you can check out his latest recording, Cole Swings Cole, and that's gonna do it for our show this week, but we will be back with more Bay Area Focus. And next week and we are going to leave you with a little more from George Cole. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day.
Thank you.